If you've been following the tragic conflict in the Ukraine, or followed that weird period in modern history where ISIS took over the Levant, you're probably familiar with the footage we've started seeing from modern wars. You've probably seen Ukrainians taking pictures with the tanks they've captured, or ISIS soldiers filming their own hopeless charge against a defended position. But if we went back in time to, say, the Battle of Hastings, what would we have seen then? In this video, AI imagines the Battle of Hastings. Think about it, the Battle of Hastings, fought on the 14th of October, 1066, was a moment that defined English history. The Norman conquest of England marked the beginning of a new era, with a new language, a new culture and a new ruling dynasty. It was a battle that saw the Anglo-Saxon army clash with the Norman invaders and the course of history was forever changed. Now, imagine seeing that battle unfold before your very eyes through the lens of a GoPro camera. The sheer intensity of the battle, the adrenaline of the soldiers as they charge into battle, it's all there, captured in a way that no other medium could possibly replicate. The following is a first-hand account of the battle. The brave commanders readied their troops for battle, each following their own cultural traditions. The English, as the story goes, spent the night carousing, singing and drinking, foregoing sleep. Come morning, they promptly marched toward their enemy, all on foot and armed with battle axes, forming an impenetrable wall by interlocking their shields. This tactic would have undoubtedly ensured their safety that day, had it not been for the Normans' deceitful retreat, which caused the English to break their ranks, something they had not done before, as it was customary to remain closely packed. King Harold himself, joined by his brothers, stood on foot near the standard, ensuring that they all faced equal danger and that there was no thought of retreating. In contrast, the Normans spent the entire night confessing their sins and the next morning received the sacrament of the Lord's body. The infantry, armed with bows and arrows, formed the vanguard, while the cavalry was split into wings and positioned at the rear. The Duke, with a calm demeanour, proclaimed that God would favour their cause as the righteous one and donned his armour. When he mistakenly put on his whole brick backward due to the haste of his attendants, he laughed and corrected the error, declaring, The power of my dukedom shall be transformed into a kingdom. Then, starting the Song of Roland, in order that the warlike example of that hero might stimulate the soldiers, and called on God for assistance. Noticing this, William signalled his troops to simulate a retreat and withdraw from the battlefield, the English, falling for the ruse, broke their tightly packed formation to pursue the fleeing enemy, resulting in their swift demise. The Normans, turning back, took advantage of the disordered English and launched an attack, forcing them to flee. Though deceived by this strategy, the English soldiers died with honour as they fought to avenge their friends. Moreover, they also managed to exact their own revenge by frequently stopping to fight and kill their pursuers in large numbers. Seizing a high ground, the English pushed back the Normans, who were trying to pursue them up the slope, and forced them down into the valley below. From there, the English effortlessly slaughtered them with javelins and rolling stones down upon them. Additionally, they knew of a short passage that allowed them to bypass a deep ditch, and in that location they trampled so many of their enemies that the ground was levelled by the heaps of bodies. The tide of victory shifted back and forth between the two sides for as long as Harold remained on the battlefield, fighting to prevent the retreat. However, when he fell, with an arrow piercing his brain, the English fled without stopping until nightfall. Both leaders demonstrated their courage during the battle. Harold did not confine himself to the role of a commander, nor did he limit himself to merely encouraging his troops. Instead, he eagerly took on the responsibilities of an ordinary soldier, relentlessly striking down his foes in close combat. No one could approach him without consequences, for his single blow was enough to fell both horse and rider. However, despite his prowess at close range, it was a deadly arrow from the enemy that ultimately caused his demise. William was also equally enthusiastic about motivating his troops with his voice and presence, and he was always the first to charge into the thickest of the enemy. He fought fiercely and ferociously, losing three prized horses that were killed under him that day. Nevertheless, the fearless leader's unflagging spirit and vitality remained undiminished. 
Despite being repeatedly urged to retreat by his bodyguards, he persisted in battle until the approaching nightfall secured his complete triumph. God's protection was surely with him, since even though the enemy aimed numerous javelins at him, none hit him and he remained unscathed. The battle marked a tragic turning point for England, as the transition of power caused great devastation in our beloved country. Over time, the Angles had gradually adopted new customs, evolving from the barbarian and warlike people they were upon their arrival, to a more civilised and religious society after embracing Christianity. However, as they focused increasingly on matters of faith, their attention shifted away from military affairs, ultimately rendering them vulnerable to invasion and conquest.